What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk on a article that really puts it in perspective on why Lucid stands out versus a competition and over and above that, why you shouldn't really trust everything on the internet, which I know kind of comes off as common sense, but again, I just wanted to say that. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciated. And with that, Let's get right to it. So there was an article that did come out that's basically talking on the air interface and how it's really been improving over the last little bit. In this article, they're basically piggybacking and talking on this 2.0 update that did come out in October, which as far as I'm aware, they are on the 28th update as far as this, so 2.0.28. But let me know your thoughts on that or if you know uh, exactly what level they're on or update they're on, let me know. But definitely this 2.0 update is a very big game changer. So I think this is why they even did bring this up. I think it was in their Q2 earnings on why this is a very big deal for Lucid bigger picture, because not only does it actually allow Lucid to add more products or kind of features potentially, but it raises the customer experience. And not only that though, but I feel that Lucid has been really stepping up their game on all aspects of the customer front. Um, so whether you are just going into a studio, whether you're buying your vehicle or potentially just doing a test drive or just in the a vehicle itself definitely they're raising customer aspects so i think that in among itself over and above the technology aspect sets lucid apart because i think in general a lot of people absolutely hate Tesla's customer service. So that's one good thing that Lucid stands out over and above even the technology. So this article is very good. There was also a second article that did come out that's saying that Lucid Air Grand Touring keeps getting better. And in here, they are talking on this actual update as well, this 2.0 update. So definitely this is a very, very big deal. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. I know I've really touched on the customer aspect in the past and also the technology front. So this is just more so piggybacking off of those updates in uh, my previous videos, which of course I already know that even though we have very good technology and everything like that, the price hasn't really corresponded to what a lot of investors would have assumed. So this is why, as I always say, Lucid is a long-term investment that right now, especially with them ramping up production and the peer, you're going to see a lot more of these articles focusing on the interface and how that actually stands out and helps Lucid stand out over the competition. But as I said at the beginning, you can't really trust everything on the internet. I know that does come off as common sense, but in general, I think some people need to realize that. For instance, even myself, don't trust everything that I say because I'm looking at this article and kind of giving you my thoughts on that. But let's say Green Car Report is very much biased. They have a very big position in Lucid. Then these articles are gonna be very much biased. So once again, make sure you guys always do your due diligence, even more so with this article that did come out recently about on Bazinga. And they're basically saying that the firm predicts Tesla will be the top performing auto stock in 2023. And the firm they are talking on is CFRA. And they also do talk on Lucid bankruptcy. So in here, they're talking on how Rivian, Lucid and Pfizer will remain unprofitable to continue to burn through cash at a rate that could threaten their viability. So once again, they are insinuating that Lucid could file bankruptcy in 2023. And this whole bankruptcy topic all got brought up because of Elon. Whether he does have a hidden agenda to it or not, I'm not sure at this stage in the game, but definitely that did lay the foundation for a lot of individuals to now think of Lucid equals bankruptcy. And I think that is very much flawed. And funny enough, though, this is why you guys need to do your own due diligence. Looking on CFRA's website, there was no indication on here whatsoever on how they are really experted or experienced in the whole EV market by any means. So once again, looking at that even further, it looks like on Lucid, they did give Lucid a rating on October the 12th. They gave us a hold rating, reiterated that, and it did look like they cut it from $18 down to to 12. So realistically, they think Lucid is going to file a bankruptcy or at least have a high likelihood of bankruptcy. Then why are they giving a $12 price target? Something doesn't seem right there. So once again, never trust people's hidden agenda behind the scenes, especially when it comes down to topics on bankruptcy or whatever it might be, because all the stats behind the scenes based on even this that did come out, Norway, Germany, Netherlands, China, South Korea, and the US, those are some of the highest proportions of new vehicle registrations and electric 
electric vehicle more specifically. And keep in mind, Lucid is expanding to a lot of these areas. So Germany, Netherlands, they already have studios there as well. And when it comes to it, maybe based on PR, they might be bringing up in the Q4 earnings about China, potentially. I'm not sure at this stage in the game, but still, it's one of those things that I'm very much excited about Lucid's expansion into these areas. And that's just going to piggyback off of, like I already said about this, superior customer service and superior technology. So once again, don't always trust a lot of these articles that are coming out talking on bankruptcy. And more on a side note, I just wanted to kind of say, in theory, any stock that is on any exchange, whether it be New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, or whatever it is, they could, in theory, dilute. Of course, I'm not here to say that's a very positive thing, but if it is to avoid bankruptcy, then yeah, of the options, that's probably the better one. But in general, let's say, for instance, we are currently at $6.83 and Lucid needed, let's say, $10 billion tomorrow. Well, guess what? Lucid could offer $2 for instance as far as an issuance and guarantee they would get easily $10 billion. And this is also excluding the fact that the PIF is even involved in Lucid. Let's say they didn't even have any investments from PIF. They would easily be able to dilute and get a little bit more additional funding, which of course would push back any likelihood of bankruptcy. Or even worst case scenario, they could do a reverse stock split and then dilute. Of course, I know a lot of these aren't good options, but I'm just putting in perspective that companies that are on a stock exchange can easily very much dilute to kingdom come to avoid bankruptcy. So I think there's a lot of different options that people aren't necessarily thinking of and they're immediately just saying that they are filing bankruptcy. And when it comes to it though, I'm not here to say that they aren't necessarily burning through cash because they are. They're building two big facilities and they're really starting to ramp up and also hiring. They're doing a lot of things that all cost a lot of money. But to say that they're actually going to be filing bankruptcy in 2023, that is extremely far-fetched. So once again, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below as well. Why you think that they gave a $12 price target on Lucid if they're even thinking bankruptcy was going to be happening in the next 12 months. Because keep in mind when an analyst does give a rating, which they gave on October the 12th, when an analyst gives a rating, they typically give their 12-month price target. So they're thinking by October 12th, 2023, that in January, general it'll be around the $12 mark so again it's very misleading behind the scenes and there is a lot of retail investors that will just plainly read this or even listen to Elon and say hey Lucid is going to file bankruptcy in 2023 I'm going to sell it immediately when the market does open on the next day or whenever it is there's a lot of misleading facts behind the scenes that unfortunately retail investors that just take for face value and don't really look into it a little bit deeper than what they should. So even myself, I'm not a financial advisor. Let's say you guys disagree with some aspect of mine or whatever it is, or even my stuff, always fact check even what I'm giving you as well. Because in general though, I could be very much wrong. Lucid could potentially be filing bankruptcy in 2023. You never know. I'm not a financial advisor. I look at their numbers. I don't think it's an option, but clearly if Elon and some other institutions, CFRA, and think so, then you never know at this stage in the game. Always do your own due diligence. Uh, this should be a 2023 moving forward kind of thing. So let me know your thoughts on all of that. Happy New Year as well. If you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, definitely 2023 is going to be a very exciting year for investors. But if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate it. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships. Link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.